Here's the scoop. So Ireland is winning right now, guys. They are winning, because remember, 400 years of famine, no more, they are winning. Ireland is Europe's most educated country right now. All right, so the article says, Eurostat, the data office of the European Union, EU, has been finding out which countries in Europe are the most educated. On average, almost one third of people in the EU aged between 25 and 74 have a higher education degree. But Ireland has the highest proportion of graduates. In 2022, 49.8% of the country had a degree, 49.8%. And among people aged between 25 and 34, the proportion was even higher at 62%. Ireland's most famous university is probably Trinity College in Dublin, founded in 1592. The writers Oscar Wilde and Sally Rooney and actor Andrew Scott are among its alumni. Wow. In second place is Luxembourg, where 49.5% of people between 25 and 74 have a university degree. Sweden is third at 46%. Romania with 17.4% and Italy with 18.5% have the lowest proportion of university graduates in the EU. Those percentages go up among younger people, however, and about 42% of people aged between 25 and 34 in the EU have a university degree. So among those percentages, with younger people, they go up, but about 42% of people aged 25 to 34 in the EU have a degree. The aim is to increase that to 45% by 2030. Eurostat also found that in all of the European countries, it had data for a higher proportion of young women had a university degree. On average, over one third of men and nearly half of women aged between 25 and 34 had a higher education degree in 2022. And here you see the chart. So places you would expect to be higher, of course, the UK, uh, which is not. 43.5% between people ages 25 and 74 have a degree. Germany, I think people would think would be higher. It's not. 31.5% of people aged 25 to 74 have a degree. Very interesting. In France, also is not that high. 38.2% of people have a degree. If you look at on the chart here. So very, very interesting, guys. All right. If you're working from home or you ever worked from home, have you taken a nap? I'm pretty sure that you have. I'm pretty sure that you have. Because I know I have. I'm just going to keep it real. I know I have. 45% of hybrid workers have napped in work hours. So what are people really doing when they work from home? This is a question that some bosses have been asking in recent years as more employees do remote work. According to a new survey for sleep advice site, Sleep Doctor, quite a few of those workers are sleeping. <laughs> no duh, guys. Okay, they're not sleeping all the time and they may actually be more productive at home but the survey found that one third of remote workers and 45% of hybrid workers take a nap during work hours every week. However, 27% of in-person workers also said they take a nap during work time each week. <laughs> Some of those in-person workers said that their company has a place for them to take a nap, while 50% said they nap in their cars and another 33% nap at their desk. Yeah, what places have a place for you to nap? That sounds like not America. About one in 10 people said they nap during work time because they're bored. Wait, wait. <laughs> Let me read that again. This is hilarious. About one in 10 people said they nap during work time because they're bored. Hmm. Others might have been up late watching TV. But could the reason for some of this napping be that people are stressed about work and can't sleep at night? Perhaps. 
Sleep Doctor found that 77% of full-time workers said they lose sleep on an average night because of work stress. In fact, 10% of people said they lose three or more hours of sleep from job stress. Younger workers are more likely to lose sleep because of stress, and they're more likely to nap during the day, obviously. More than 1,200 full-time workers from the U.S. took part in the survey. Guys, do you smell those french fries? Do you smell the french fries? But there's no McDonald's around. But oh my gosh. Is this french fry smell coming from the billboards? This McDonald's billboard? Because I smell the french fries. And it is. Guys, this is crazy. McDonald's releases billboards that smell like french fries. No, this is not a joke. This is real. People all over the world recognize the famous McDonald's Golden Arches, but the arches are nowhere to be seen in the company's new promotional billboards that have been released in the Netherlands. The billboards are blank in either red or yellow, but the fast food giant believes people will know exactly what the billboards are advertising. Not by how they look, but how they smell. The billboards have been placed in Utrecht and Leiden, both about a 40 minute drive from Amsterdam, the capital. People may be confused at first, but once they walk within five meters of any of the billboards, they will smell something familiar coming from inside. McDonald's french fries. And if, they, if the smell is tempting, <laughs> they don't have to travel far. All the billboards have been placed within 200 meters of a McDonald's restaurant. It's the first billboard where the smell becomes the ad, the company said in a video promoting the billboards. The smell becomes the ad. This is next level um, advertising right here from McDonald's in the Netherlands. I just want to say that. I'm still not going to eat there, but this is just, it's kind of cool though. A spokesperson from McDonald's Netherlands said that McDonald's is all about good times. And since smell has been shown to help people think of certain memories, the company hopes the billboards will remind people of good times at McDonald's or the time you got robbed at McDonald's or the time you saw a homeless person poop in a McDonald's. Oh, well, sorry. Maybe these are McDonald's in like Los Angeles in New York. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Maybe your McDonald's, you never experienced that. Come to an American McDonald's, you might see some crazy things, I'm just saying. The news comes not long after McDonald's announced it has partnered with Krispy Kreme. McDonald's stores in the U.S. will start selling Krispy Kreme donuts later in 2024, and they will be available in stores all over the country by 2026. I think that's actually a good idea that, that they par partner with Krispy Kreme. So, yeah, that's uh, really, really interesting. Let me know what you guys think about these articles, Ireland being the, you know, most educated country in Europe, the 45% of hybrid workers having napped in work hours. Have you napped during work hours? And uh, the McDonald's billboards that smell like french fries in the Netherlands. Would you want McDonald's to bring these billboards to your neighborhood in the US? Would you want that? Or in India or wherever you're listening from, China, any any country in Africa, would you want, would you want McDonald's to bring these French fry smelling billboards to your city, state, or country. Let me know in the comments. Would it make you want to go to McDonald's more or at all? Or would you just be like, oh, I don't care. I can resist this smell of really good fries. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. And until next time.